Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We are just heading over to the church because I honestly can't remember if I did a prayer yesterday or a, it, yesterday. It was yesterday that I recorded it for me, but um, I honestly can't remember if I actually did a prayer day at the end of the episode or if I intended to do it at the beginning of this episode. So I'm going to take the prayer and I'm going to, I don't think I did do a prayer because I've got no faith with me. Um, so if we come up here and start praying, there we go. And yes, we can. Excellent. So we get a bit of faith in here. I'd like to say some words. Our church, great. And then we can carry on and now let us pray for this blessing. So today we would like to build the alchemy thing down in the basement using the um, complex glass cones and I'd also like to try to improve the actual church itself because there's some other things that we can build inside this church and do um, helping the um, the bad guy the inquisitor up on witch hill with the witch burnings and stuff I'm not in any particular hurry to go and do that because we're going to have to restart the game once the, the new one's... Oh, here we go. we got loads of stuff. Yeah, because we're going to have to restart the game when the new one comes out. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm not going to do very much with the Inquisitor and some of the other bits so that we've got things that we can do, like early game stuff that we can do, as well as um, some of these other bits and pieces. So I want to do some gardening and I want to try and get the bees up and running if we can do that. Right, Candelabra 2... Candelabra 1. Number 2 there, we get a um, simple iron parts and complex iron parts, four of each. Incense burner, polished brick of stone. That's quite a lot. The confessional. Okay, the confessional there at 16 planks and 6 iron parts. That's the one that I want to build next. So 16 planks and 6 complex iron parts. That's what we want to do. So if I come out here, and then I also want to start using up some of our stone items here in the actual churchyard. So we'll go to here. We've got a five quality there. I've got a fence. I can put that fence on there. Put that one in place. And I've researched all of the different um, stones that we've got. They've all been researched now, so we don't need to do anything. I've got one wooden repair kit. I need to make some more wooden repair kits. That is something that I need to do. Uh, you here. Yeah, see, there's no point in putting anything on that grave. So some of these graves, there's little point in doing anything to. Uh, you over here. We could. We don't have any more grave fences. I've only got grave stones now, so I'm going to start replacing some of these. But this one here is a two, whereas... Um, the one, what, are, what are the ones that I've got? Oops, let me do that. Uh, that is a four. That's a two. That's a three. And that's a three. So I've, I've got a two there that I can replace one of these smaller markers with. Like these. There, if I take that marker off. Remove you. And it's actually gone midnight now. So we ought to head back home. And then we can worry about this afterwards. So I will dump all of these in here a minute. And I'll leave the sermon in there as well, because, uh, you know, and, uh, no, we'll take the faith with us. We'll probably be glad of that. Uh, it's already way late. I should have been in bed hours ago. I wasted way too much of the day doing that. Um, but never mind. It's okay. We'll come down here. We'll gather these up. And complex glass cones. Do, what have I got? I got two of those there. Trunk there and trunk. All right. So I need more. Co oh, actually, do I? I can't remember if I need more complex glass cones or not. I've got no more sand, and i got no more glass, and i got no more cones, so I can't do anything there at all. Uh, I can do... Oh, I see! Right, we can put two in at once. Rather than just one, you can do two at a time, which is pretty cool, actually. I like that. Uh, so we'll put... And is that only 20 fuel as well? The other one was using, like, 50 fuel a time for one of them. This is awesome! Okay, we're hardly using any fuel on this one. That is really, really cool. Okay, uh, we'll head on down this way again. We're going to go back to the church, and we're going to carry on doing a little bit more to the graves. Um, just a little... Oh, I don't know. There was, I just wanted to repair that one, didn't I? No, actually, I don't care about that one, because I'm going to upgrade it, and we're going to put stone in there eventually. So, um, yeah, we don't care about that in the slightest. 
Uh, we'll come down here. You're a minus three. You're, you're a poor grave anyway, so let's take that one out. Remove. Get rid of that one. And then I can do something else with it. So we'll... There. Right. That's, that's a minus three on that grave. I'm going to exhume this one. I'm going to take that one out completely. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm going to go to there first, and then I'm going to destroy it. Destroy? Yes. You don't get any materials back for destroying. We know that. But we could still do something useful. I don't think I can exhume a body while I've got four bodies kicking around. So we'll have to go and do something else. We'll, we'll take that body there and we'll chuck it in the water. Cheat. I've hardly used any energy at all, so let's not worry about going to sleep. We'll take this body here and we'll dump this one in the river. I've got another body in the morgue that is lying on the slab, not on a pallet. So I need to do something with that one. You can go in there. We'll go back over this way, we'll get an exhumation order, and we'll remove that body that is currently deteriorating quality. Uh, paid services, royal stamp, right there. Need 20. There we go. You. Oh, I can get it for 50 silver. I, don't know if I, I can't remember how I was supposed to do it. There, there was another way of getting it, but I didn't really want to do it, I don't think, because it was it's going to end up costing us a load of money. Right, this grave right here, exhumed. Okay, use that one up, and then we can dig the grave up. Right, it's saying 100%, but the overall quality of the body is rather grim. So if we take this one back in here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... Yeah, see, we've got four bodies. Uh, we're going to drop that one down there, and then this one here, we're going to finish autopsy. So we want to take out that flesh there, and is there anything else? Take out the bone. I'm not going to worry about all the rest because we got so much other stuff, but I haven't done anything with any of it yet. So, quite frankly, I'm not too concerned about it. We bring this one out and I'll drop that one outside. That one can go there. I got these two. I'm going to drop both these in the river and then I'll be able to work on another one. So, we'll take the flesh out of there, work that, and I'll take the bone out. Oh, I do want the skin. I definitely want the skin. That's probably the most useful item that we can take from any of them. Um, and I will take the bone. The rest of it I'll leave. There we go. Right, now autopsy empty table. Grab you. And then come down this way. Right, so I've now got two bodies that I'm going to run up the road up here and dump in the river so that we can get a couple more from the donkey. Although I don't think I actually need to. I think I could just run these over here leave them next to the river, but not do anything with them so that we don't... Oh, no. The reason I wanted to do something with them... Hmm. No, we'll chuck them. We'll chuck both of them. Like that. Um, it's because of the quality of the graveyard. So if I... Yeah, I want to go back here, and I want to get a body so that I can put that one in there, and then we can do a little bit more... Um, we can put like a, a gravestone or something down. So we'll take one of these there and bring this one over and put that one onto autopsy table. We've got three skulls. Okay, this is quite a poor quality body. That's actually a good thing. I'm going to take the skin off of this one and I'm also going to take the flesh off of this one. I'm going to leave everything else on it there and uh, take the flesh. Yep. And I'm not going to take anything else because what I want to do... I'll leave that one there. The two other bodies that turn up can go on those two pallets. And then our morgue has got four of four bodies, so the donkey won't come back. Except that I still want a good quality body to go in there. Because that was the whole point of this exercise, wasn't it? Right. Um, empty table. Put you down there. And then I go and get this one over here. And hope that this one's a little bit better. Three on a six um, skull would be fine. Or two on, a, two on a five. That's fine. We'll take the blood out of there. Like that. And then we'll take the fat off as well. Which is that one. There. And we can't take the skin or the bone off of this one. I now have no energy. And I've got nothing to eat either. Nothing whatsoever. That's just great. That's just wonderful. We'll leave those there for a minute and we'll come wandering back over here. I've got a few things that I can run around and deliver for a minute. We can put that up there. I've got that there. I got the blood. I got the flesh. I actually know the flesh we want to keep hold of. The, the skin can go in there. 
And the bone. Oh, actually, let's take one bone. Maybe we ought to do something with it. Sure. It's filling up all of this space. I don't want to fill all this space up too much because it's, it's taking up too much, too much space. And up here, this one was, it was that one there with the complex glass cones. So I need, right, well, I need um, three and six. Complex iron parts and wooden pieces, three, six. And then if we go up here, I can't remember what the confessional was because i got a whole load of work I'm going to need to do on here. So we had three and six, and then that's going to make nine and twenty-two. Nine and twenty-two is what we're going to need. Nine complex iron parts, twenty-two planks of wood in order to make those two items. I've already got the glass parts, so I don't need to worry about those, but um, the rest of it is going to take us a little while. So we'll head over this way. Uh, oh, hang on. No, that body. I can't leave it where I left it, can I? Oh, so stupid. So stupid, Frith. Why? I can't. No, I can't do anything with it either. Okay, that body has now deteriorated beyond any actual um, decent use because I ran out of energy and then I didn't do anything with it. And there's another body there. That one's going to have deteriorated as well. Things are going downhill rapidly for us, which is not great. Okay, well, that, that's all right. We, we, we'll just um, have some poor quality bodies. We'll just chuck them away, and we'll have to go and process them again in a little while. Um, so let's head down this way. We leave all of that stuff. Nine complex iron parts and 22 planks of wood. We go in here. So this body up here, I need to finish working that, but the actual body has now deteriorated down to just four stars. So I will take the skin while I'm here. And I'm going to leave... Oh, the skin and the flesh. Because the flesh, I know that we'll eventually be able to sell. And I'd like to do that. I would like to be able to get the money. We, I, mean, I suppose we could just go and buy the stamp. There is the option to buy the stamp, isn't there? So there's two bodies. This one's... Oh, this one's 92%. We may be able to get this one over there fast enough to do something with it. Let's have a look. It's, it's, got, the, it's got potential. It's got potential. Let's get that one out. And then uh, autopsy and then extract the flesh. It's definitely got potential. Can I get it over to the church fast enough? Empty table. Uh, pick you up and this way. You know it would be a lot quicker if I could just go through a gate there. So 92. The grave is open. So I've literally just got to run up round. If it gets to 90, I've lost one point on it. Inter the corpse. Okay. It's on zero. Uh... F, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And we have buried it. 91. We did it. We actually did it. That is wonderful. So, we can go for a gravestone for two, a gravestone for three, or we can go for a stone plinth there, which adds four to the grave. That's the one that I want to put in. And then uh, any kind of fence, we'll just add in the final bit. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's absolutely wonderful. And then the odd cross around the grave. Um, plus um, the, the, the small markers that we've generally got in most places like that one there. That one could do with being exhumed. 89, the quality of this graveyard is now. 89, that's, that's pretty sweet, that is. Let's take that cross out. We'll remove that one. We don't want that one anymore. And then instead of that one, I'm going to go into here and I'm going... There's a two. That's a three on that one. I'm going to put that one in there. That's going to improve the quality of the grave up to 80 up to 90 there we go we're on 90 now and then over here we've got this one here i've got the fence on here um i mean that's not ideal but it's, it's still better than nothing so we'll, we'll keep that one on there for a minute and i'll add three points i think uh yes i can i can add three points in there so if i put you and put you in on there that's going to be 93 points that we've got for the quality of our graveyard overall, which is pretty good, I'd say. As far as graveyards go, I'd say that was pretty good. I don't think we can complain about that. Um, so I now need to go and start working on those bits for the, 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 the graves. Um, not the graves, in the church and in the church basement. It's going to take us a lot of work to do that. Right. Uh... Let me first dig that one up. There. Now, can I push two logs along? It's, it's difficult to do this. 
I don't think I can do two in a line. That's going to be the, the tricky bit, is doing two along here, because it, it's just going to do that. So I can do that, like that. But I'll tell you what, I can, I can bring them over to this point here, and then I can go and get the next one. I can bring out along, and then I can push both of them uphill. Both of them will push up and down a lot easier. That's too far. I took it too far again. Always do this. There we go. And now we just go up like that. Nope. It's, it's pushing out to the side. There we go. Both of them together. Frith has got this. There. And we can put that one in there. And I can take you. And I can put you in there. And then I can take you. And I can put you in there. And then we want to come over this side. I've got some iron bars and stuff in there. Craft. I've got some more that can go in. Excellent, and we go to the sawmill. So I need wooden planks, and I need an awful lot of wooden planks. I have also need more energy. Going to need a lot more energy. 22 wooden planks we're going to want all together. Let's go into here a minute, and we will leave all of the flesh. Uh, we won't leave anything else behind. So I won't do anything else there. Not for a minute, no. Okay, let's get a bit of shut-eye. And then after we've had our bit of shut-eye, we're going to go... It would probably be useful if I went back to the church first and deposited all of these um, bits and pieces of body that I've got kicking around in my inventory. So if I do that very quickly, I'll run down underneath and do that. And we go this way, and then we go down this way. And I could do with making like another alchemy storage rack or something, or scroll shelf or whatever it is that I'm using over there. I think it's an alchemy storage rack that I've got because it's full. It's completely and totally full. I can put that one in. I can't put any more fat in, and, and the blood, look at all the blood that I've got here. It's completely filled up. What about in here? Craft. Go for some fat. There. Craft that one. This uh, takes quite a bit to work that one. I'm going to do another one. Fat. There. Craft. That's now put me down to 40 items, plus I've picked up those two. It does default with the ones on the shelves first, which I actually quite like. That is quite good. But there, we can do it like that. So it doesn't take up quite so much space. And we're going to leave the rest. There. Right. I've now got a bit of space in my bags. I have used up some of my energy. Very, very valuable energy this is. Firewood. That's the other thing I need to make. If I can make some firewood, I can come in here and I can start. I've got so much more stuff to cook. I need to get the firewood in here, so I need fuel from firewood. And the only place I can make firewood is at this one here. Wood wedge, firewood. I'm going to do two lots of firewood, and then I can put them inside. Nine pieces of firewood from that. Okay, nine pieces of firewood is not to be sniffed at. Have I got firewood elsewhere? I have none here. What about over in this chest? And I've got none here, but I do have two planks. Those will be useful. We'll take those. Have I got planks in this one? I do not, but I've got uh, the simple iron parts. We don't care about those for a minute. And we'll go into here, and then we can go up here. Right. Firewood. Oh, it's one firewood gets me five fuel. So I'm literally just going to do this a minute. Right. 92 fire. And I've got dough. I've got lots of dough. I could... Ooh, salt. Oh, I don't have salt. Uh, pastry dough. I don't have a uh, jug of milk. Baked mushrooms. Ah, oh, that'd be pretty good. We could do some baked mushrooms. And over here, we've got onion toast with onions. I've got bread right there. Onion rings. Oh, I see. The quality of the item makes a difference. Apples there. And then over here, we've got omelets, and we've got uh, various things. We've got the baked meat there. I could I could make a burger. Um, dough, lentils, and cabbage. Cabbage. Okay, I can't do anything there. Pastries. The, the jelly here, the green jelly. That gives me plus 25 energy, and I get four of them, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, was there anything else I could do with the jelly? That one there is, well, the red jelly, but that is berry juice that I need for that. And I was told that I could get berry juice. There's a, uh, I can't remember what it was. Um, there is a way to get berry juice. I can't remember what the way is, but um, I don't think there's any other use for the jellies other than this in cooking here. Because if I, let, let's go over to this side a minute and have a look here. We've got flour, we've got raw slices. Uh, berry juice there, right. I need apples and I need berries as well, so I can make those. 
Whereas this one here, if I go to there, the green jelly is literally... Oh, but I need the honey. Uh, so you have to go and get the honey. So we'll leave the green jellies... Oh, actually, I could just stand here and just cook this a minute. And then I'll get some more stuff as well. Not really sure why we've got to cook the jelly. But it's what we've got to do. So we've done that. We've cooked the jelly. Uh, I don't have any more honey. Muffins, they're plus 20. And... Oh, it's just, yeah, just plus 20, but the green jellies is plus 25, so I, I did have the best option. Right, I, I made a few more um, bits of dough there. I'll bring these over here, and I've got a little bit of flour, 12 more pieces of dough. We've got the eight jellies, which I'm going to keep hold of. Change my mind. I'm not going to keep hold of them. I'm going to leave the jellies in here, because I've got some bread, and we can use that for later. It, it'll be... When we want to go and do a dungeon, we, we can use it in a dungeon. So I'm going to drop the bread down in there so that I can use that. And then we want to come out this way and not round there. I want to go this way. I've got those are done. Let's get some more of those baking. And then we can go back to work on here. So how many of these do I get? Uh, three. Three wooden planks. It's going to take me a while to get... I, well, does I need 22 of them for the two items that I want to do? That is really going to take a long time. I'm kind of hoping that there is... Is, is there a technology that allows me to improve this faster? That I can get more with? Let's have a look. Technologies. We want to go to building. Would be in here. Uh, tricks of the trade. You know how to deal with wood. Circular saws are more productive. I need 50 blue points. I need another 28 blue points in order to get that. There's got to be a way to do this. I've made everything on here. I've researched all of these items now, haven't I? Stone Cross 2, I haven't researched. So I could do the Stone Cross 2 at three polished stone bricks. To do that, put it here. Uh, polished stone, polished brick of stone, right there. Let's do the polished brick of stone. We can do this, and then I'll be able to get it. it ultimately, this is going to be worth it, I think. Uh, ooh, and also, the polished brick of stone gives us some points anyway. So, again, it's definitely got to be worth it. And craft, and I need one more of these. And then we have our three polished bricks of stone. I do need to go and make some complex iron parts. I need a load of those complex iron parts anyway. Let's have those two um, slices of bread. We can go to here, complex iron parts, make those. And then I've got one more lot to make, which is the... There we go, some three of those. Uh, one more up here, craft, and it's not there. It's not there. It's here. And it's that one there, Stone Cross 2. That is the one that I want to make. I've really burned through all my energy there. Have I got any bread left in here? Should have. There we go. I've got two more breads. And I'll take those, start baking them, and then we come out here and have those for 24 energy. That might be enough to just finish this off. I don't know if it will be. Oh, literally just. Just enough. And if I have a look in here in character, that one is not yet complete. We can go and study that one. I reckon that we could probably get some sleep, actually. This one over here is only halfway done. All right, let's get a bit of sleep, and then we can go and do the studying, and then we can come back, and we should be able to be getting a lot more in the way of timber from our circular saw use. It's also prayer day today. I nearly forgot that. The prayer is up in the, the chest at the top, I think. Right, we've got 12 of those. That's fine. That's red. That's red. That's red. That's blue there. Green, green, green. It's just that one there. Three. So we get 30 for this one. 30 is perfect. That's exactly what we want. There we go. Stone cross. That puts us up to 55. Then I can have a look in here, and I can go to technologies, and we can scroll up through there, and it's this one. Uh, circular saws are more productive. Stones are your passion, so your stone carving is really good. Also, you're so efficient, you can get an additional piece of stone from a big rock. And we get another prayer. So that's the one that I want right there. That one, I got the perk of the carpenter. That was the main thing that I was after with that. Come back down here. We'll head straight outside from here, and I could even apply... Oh! Why am I going this way? Let's see if we can upgrade the quality of the church before we do our sermon. We've got the day. We've got the day. I've got some bread baking in the oven. I've got two bits of bread with me. The bishop is on his way over. He's wandering through. What is that? That's a maggot. Why do I want maggots? I'm not really sure. What, what benefit do maggots have? 
How many are we going to get from this now? We were getting three. We are now getting four. Well, that's a slight improvement. It's better than no improvement. Go on, chop you down. I need at least 16 of them in order to be able to um, gain any real benefit. So that we can build the confessional over in the church. Come up through here and grab that one as well. There we go. Put you in there. Um, while I'm here, I will do another complex iron parts. Is this one improved? I don't think this one improved. No, it was the stonemason one that improved. This has got to be the blacksmithing one if I'm to improve this at all. Uh, how much have I got? I got five complex iron parts. I think I need six for it. Honestly, I can't remember. So if I just get one more lot to be on the safe side, then we've got our bases covered, basically, haven't we? And we have a look in here. That one, I put two more of those in. We're nearly out. That's okay. And then I'll work you. And then we can have a look and see how many we are. I know that we need 16 of these. So one downstairs doesn't need nearly so much. Uh, I got 19. Okay, I needed 22 altogether. I'll get the other one. And then I can, I'm can. i able to build both of them. No, I, I still need... It was, it was nine complex iron parts, wasn't it? So I'm going to need one more complex iron part. And then I do have all of the materials I need. Uh, just don't have very much energy. I've actually run out, but that's all right. I can eat my piece of bread that I got right there. There we go. I've got 36 potential energy now because I got those. And then cook, get the bread going. I'm over this way. Run down through here. So I got three bread on me. I'm not going to make the one down here. I'm just going this way because it's quicker to get to the church. Uh, we'll make the one down here afterwards. We'll do that a bit later. Now, I need to go outside, and I need to get the sermon. So, we've got that ready. There we go. 93. So, we get 9 silver this time. Uh, town pass a casual prayer. What do we do with the maggot? I've no idea what we're supposed to do with the maggot. That, that's um different. Right. Over this way. Up through. I'm going to eat that bread. I'll eat all three of them so that we've got a uh, space of one. Confessional. That's what I want. Where can I put the confessional? Ah, we can put the confessional in here. I can put that one there, or I could put it over this side. I, I'll put it over this side, because I, I know I can rotate it. I can press R to rotate. Put that one down there, right. And we come down this way. We go over there, and you do it from this side, like that. There, and we build this one up. We've then got a confessional. I don't know how many points it's going to be. How many points is our confessional? Plus five points. That gives us 17 quality in here. It's not bad at all, actually. Uh, what else have we got? A wooden church shrine there. I think that's the one up the top. Really want to replace that one. Uh, confessional, church bench, incense burner. 12 polished brick stones for that. Considering the cost of it, I'm guessing it's actually quite a good thing to get. That would be my guess. Right, darkness is approaching, so let's do our praying. Let's do this. 17 quality. Hopefully that is going to boost. So let's see. Uh, 12 was getting us 5 prayer. Uh, 17. Let's see. It might be as much as 8. I don't know if it's half the, the church quality or what. Look, there's 4 there. Let's pray for this blessing. Do the stuff. Go on. Do the stuff. How many do we get? We can, we can get another 4. Is it half? It, it says like it's half or something. Uh, there's 2 more. That only makes 6. Uh, that's disappointing. Right. Great sermon. Everybody's really pleased. They're pumping in a load of cash. We should get about nine silver something. But I only got six faith from that. Even though we had all of this like extra stuff. Nine silver, 30 copper. We've got 71 altogether. So I can get that. I can go and buy the meat stamp now as well. Which I could do from just outside. If I do that a minute, we go here. And then I go to paid services. Royal services there. Royal stamp, buy. Leave. Leave. Right, I now have a royal stamp. Which I can use to go and take all of the meat over to Horridric. And we can do stuff over there. But before I do that, I want to go here. And it's the alchemy bench. There we go. Alchemy workbench, tier two. And that one's got to come all the way down here. Wow. I've got to put that all the way down there or I've got to move some other stuff around. Doesn't fit there. It would fit up there if I could move that one along a bit. I'm not happy with that one being where he is. Uh, it won't fit on any of these. I could put it in there. So that bench there, I could have put there. 
That would be better. Hang on a minute. You just press escape on this. Um, the It's not the study table there. It's the uh, church workbench, is it? No, that's the church work. Uh, there. But there's only eight nails and... All right, I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to remove that one there because I don't want to go all the way down to here in order to get to that one. I'd like to keep them in this room at least for a minute. So let's work this one here. Remove that. I've got no space whatsoever in my bags at the moment. So we'll remove those over there like that. So they're out the way. I've got quite a lot of the materials back. It's going to be quite easy to rebuild that one. And then this one here can go over there like that. Right. Perfect. I hope. I hope I can get in there. Oh, there we go. I can pick up those items. Yes, I can get in here nice and easily. So I can build this one. I just need now a few nails and a few flitches to be able to finish building. I also need to hurry home to bed as quickly as I can. So we get this one built here. There we go. I can now do the crafting. We've got the flitches lying on the ground. Let's very quickly go back to bed. And then once we've done that, we can come back down here with some extra nails and flitches. And we can rebuild that church thing um, slightly lower down. I've got another slot that I can put that one into. That's not going to be in the way of anything or anyone. Uh, I will just... Oh, no. I, well, I can still do that. I can still put the bread in the oven. Even if I can't pick the bread up. There we go. Seem to be wasting the day a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. I've got one wooden plank left. Let's see the maggot. Oh, and the stone cross. I need to do something with that as well. I've got more bread there that's ready. So I'm going to put that cooking. I'm going to go out this way. Because I'm going to put this maggot down here. I'm sure it's going to be useful for something. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, and then open again. And i got those. So put those in there as well. Which gives me a little bit of space. That's all I needed was just a tiny little bit of space. Uh... I can grab that lot, and then I can go over here, and I can put all of those in there, and all of that in there. I'll take those flitches with me. It's just a few nails that I need. Have I got any nails here? I don't. I'm going to have to make some. So I can very quickly do that. There we go. And I forget how many nails we get. It's pretty good. I think we yeah, eight nails. We get a good return on that. So now I can run back over to the church basement, and I can deal with the stuff in there. Ooh. As I'm picking all of this up, I may as well pick all of it up. And then we can race back over this way. And I can build the church thingy. The bench. Which was the the writing desk or something. I can't remember what it was now. It was um, it was that really simple one. Not that one. It was the desk. It was just the desk there. So the desk can go down there. Like that. I can go and pick up those flitches that we've got over there. That one doesn't even need any construction work on it. And we can have a look at this one. Right, so if I put... I can put blood in there. And I could put... Oh, I hang on. Slowing solution. Uh, life, let's put some slowing solution in there. Craft. Okay, I don't know what this gets me. Blood and slowing solution. Gets me goo. Uh, what does goo do? It's not complete. Right. So we have just things that we seem to get now. It's just like random stuff that doesn't really do anything at all. Uh, what space have I got? I've got one bone there. I want to I wanna move the goo into here. I'll swap it for a bone. Put those two in there like that. And I better run around very quickly and stuck, um, stick that body on a table. And it's already coming up to night time. Go on, quick. Go, 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 go. We got uh, It's down to 97% already. It does go very quickly. There we go. We've got one of them out the way. I can run back over here. Now, night time is fast approaching. We're also going to have to wrap this episode up fairly soon, which I didn't really want to do. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Hand mixer. No, it's not in hand mixer for the bones, is it? It's, the, it's this one over here, the alchemy mill. For this one there alchemy mill bone in there craft that gives us this white powder and i'm still not sure what we do with white powder i'm not even sure where i put it i didn't leave the white powder in here i can leave the bone there i've got no room for my for the casual prayer sermon hmm <laughs> this isn't good we need more space we need a lot more space that's what we need i need to build another set of shelves I got room for another set of shelves. Uh, alchemy, alchemy mill, workbench, alchemy rack. That's the one right there. Really have. I, I don't really have room for it at the moment. 
We'll have to just leave it. Never mind. Right, well, we've got the confessional in here. That's just making it look a little bit better. We can go up here. It's nighttime is busy sort of scrolling through. I'm just going to leave the headstone in here along with the prayer. Like that. And those grape seeds I'll take with me. No, I'm going to leave them there. Don't really care about them. I got a nail there. I will take that one. Now we've got this stamp for the meat. So we've got their package of meat. And then you get that, uh, you get raw sliced meat from it. Uh, raw sliced meat from frogs. And then from flesh. So I, I think we just take what we've got here. We take this lot with us and we go and see Horodric. And then he gives us a load of money. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping. So we go there. It's early in the morning. We don't have masses of energy, but I don't think we're going to need it. So we'll leave the white powder behind. We don't want white powder. I don't think it's going to do us any good whatsoever to be caught with white powder on us. And we will start running back into town. We've got just enough time to do this, I think. We'll go into town. We will speak to Horodric. We will see if we can sell this. I don't think I've got to do anything else to it. I think I've just got to have the royal stamp and um, pass it over to him. Not the royal stamp, I just passed the meat over to him. We've paid 50 silver for this one. Let's let's hurry things along a bit, shall we? Um, there's chickens here somewhere. And I, I do keep meaning to stop and look for the chickens and investigate the whole chicken thing. I just haven't got around to it yet. I will do it. I promise I will do the chicken thing at some point. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Right, we want to go up here. Now, Horadric. I have a stamp. Good. Then this meat just needs a little preparation on your kitchen table. What? Seriously, wrap it in paper, put a stamp on it, and I'll gladly buy it. Uh, trade. So how much does he give? Uh, there we go. Package of meat. So I don't actually know how much he's going to give us for it yet, because he's, he's not actually done it. Um, that's disappointing, to say the least. That is very disappointing. We cannot get anything... Oh, we can buy the drinks from him for energy and health healing. But we can't make... An, and wine as well is apparently good for this. So, like, 100 energy and uh, 35 health is quite good. Um, so, when we go back into our dungeon, we've, we've got some extra stuff there. So, now I need to go racing. I'm gonna... What vegetables was it he wanted? I can't remember. While we're here, let's just ask him. Uh, trade. No. About our deal. Oh, I need onions. Right. Carrots, cabbage. I need 20 carrots, 15 cabbage, 10 onions. Uh, seeds. Where can I buy some seeds? I don't trade in cheap stuff. Uh, low quality seeds at a local farm. Need some money. I can lend you some. Five silver now. You pay me back 10. <laughs> no. Thanks, but this loan seems unfair. Uh, back. Leave. Right. I don't want to take out a loan with him because that does seem very, very unfair. And I don't want to do unfair. Okay. Um... We need onions, so I may as well just pop down here a minute and see this farmer about some onions. And then... What do I, I think we've got... I think we've got enough of other stuff. It's just the onions that we're going to need. Right. Cabbage seed, wheat seed, carrot seed, flour, crop... Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Onion... Ah, uh, there we go. Onion seed, wheat, onions... Actual onions there, I could just go and buy and have it done with. But no, I'd, I'd rather grow my own. Uh, onion seed right there. Hang on a minute. Oh, I got a, a, these items are locked and then I get silver quality. Right. Onions right there. Let's go with eight onion seeds. Okay. That's all of them. That's as many as I can buy. So we'll just have to take the eight onion seeds and hope that we can get enough from that. And let's head back home now. Over this way. I will... I'm not going to worry about planting the onion seeds now. We will do that in our next episode. We won't worry about them. Mainly because I've just burned up all my energy by running back. I... Ooh! As we... That is actually really good timing. So let's just dodge the donkey a minute. And we go up in here. We've got four bodies now. That one is at a nice 100%. Which is very nice. Well, 99%. That's close enough. We'll leave that one on there. We've got two bodies there ready to dump in the river. And we'll go up this way. Paper. We're going to need to go and get paper from the church, aren't we? We've got six sheets of paper down there. What paper is it we're going to need? Let's go and have a look here. Package of meat. Clean paper. Right. 
I've got clean paper. Let me go in there and put that going. And then I want to go here. And we'll head down this way. I hope we get a decent amount of money for this because there's, there's a lot of work involved with taking this flesh. I was told that it's not a great return on it, but I still want to do it. Right? It's, it's one of those things. You, you, you can tell me as much as you want that it's not a good idea. I still want to do it. Let's go back up here. We're going to do one of these if we can. If we can. And then we're going to go to sleep and that is going to be it. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And there we go. We have done one package of meat and I don't have room to pick up another one. So we'll just have to leave that. I'm going to do another one. Have I got, have I got the energy? Have I got the energy? All of it. All of it. Go, 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 go. Oh, so close. Right, uh, it doesn't give us a hint as to how much we can get for it, but I'm hoping we can stack them. We'll see. We'll see about that in the morning. Right, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.